Hello everyone, I'm Mewtwo, and welcome back to Paper Mario 64. We just beat the Goomba King. I think there was a bridge between Toe Town and Goomba Village. If we head east, we'll get to Toe Town. If we head west, we'll come to my house in Goomba Village. Sure, peace. Yay. Alright, so we have to get through this place. Red Goomba, you're positive that you hit the switch well, right? Of course, King Goomba! I hid in the grass outside the fortress! Outside the- You idiot! You didn't hide in here! Mario will find it for sure! Oh, do you think? You know, you might be right. King, King Goomba! Maybe we ought to try to trick Mario before he tries to- Tries to what? Find this switch in this bush and hit it with a hammer? Uh, 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 Mario, good fight and all that, I must warn you, have a, if you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? Uh, you what? You already pressed it! Oh no! <laughs> Smoosh. Yeah, the <laughs> windows just fall off. And there he goes. Alright, we'll see him again when we play Super Mario 64 on DS. <laughs> Look, the bridge! Now we can cross and continue our journey. Alright. Hmm, I wonder where the Goombas went. They must have bailed immediately. Good night. A Super Shroom. Restores 10 HP. It's a full heal at this point. Ah, been being watched by Cammy the whole time. Oh, later. Oh, meanwhile, in Bowser's Castle, or Peach's Castle, on top of Bowser's Castle. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. I report your evilness, my own defeat of the Goomba King. He's had his toe town now. What? Unbelievable. What was that Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me. And Mario whips him up so easily? Oh, what a wimp. Uh, can you, Koopa? You are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? But please, please, your violin. Let's try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because while you hold the star rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> By the way, Cammy Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario the power, do they? Please don't worry yourself, he just held separately, and he just carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the Star Spirits. Mm. Who's the closest Star Spirit to Mario? Is that the one in Koopa Bros Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? Uh, King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Hiya! <laughs> Here come the Cooper Bros. Uh huh. Oh yeah, we're the cool, so cool. Captain uh, Cooper, are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Go Goomba King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Pshaw! Get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wimpola. We're nothing like him. See, what we got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we could put the heart on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent. That's the spirit. Sell it, Cooper Bros. Show a king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Oh, oh, that this is oh. How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, excellent. Really, I'm not easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him off that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Bros. I'm about to capture Star Spirit I've locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Uh, nobody, sir. You know, we're here, and so... You idiots! Use your heads! Get back to the fortress and guard that Star Spirit! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Ah, oh, the outskirts of Toe Town. To the east is Toe Town. If we go west, we'll reach my hometown, Goomba Village. Sleepy sheep. There's a switch. There's a bouncy thing in this tree. And a chest. Hammer throw. Hit one enemy with the hammer, no matter where the enemy is. Let's slap that on real quick. Yep, and I can equip it now because I have additional BP. Ah, this is why it's so good. <laughs> Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is up an uproar. The prince is kidnapped. The very castle uprooted. It's bedlam. I really don't know what we could do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. This is the west entrance to Toe Town. In case you couldn't tell, it's the main gate. The fancy gate and the star emblem on the ground symbols are this are symbols of this fair town. Kuma Village, where my house is, is a brief journey west from here. You'll find a very smart toad named Russ T living in this town. He knows lots of useful information for adventurers. You also find shops to sell various items. Oh yeah, there's also a dojo. This toad is always standing in front of the gate. It is his job, maybe? He looks as if he's asleep on his feet, but he actually knows quite a bit about the town. Let's go see. There's Rusty. He's Rusty. Everyone says he's the smartest toad around. He's also happy to share his vast knowledge with people. He's filled me on, on things plenty of times. He knows a lot of things I can only guess at. Oh, salutations! You are Mario, are you not? Of course, I know who you are. I'm the wise toad, Rust T. Pleasure meeting you. As you could probably tell, I love books and read all the time, because I'm so well-read, I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit with me, I'll be happy to share all my knowledge with you. Are you talking to me because you crave knowledge that only my intellect can provide? Then how about this? So I was told that far away, at the very top of the sky, there's the Star Haven, where stars make their home. In Star Haven, there's a treasure called the Star Rod. According to legend, it was made with ancient magic. There are said to be stars that are particularly strong and good-hearted. They are called Star Spirits. Using the magical Star Rod, these Star Spirits grant the wishes of everyone in this world. That's why when we make a wish to the night sky and it becomes true, it all thanks to Star Spirits and their Star Rod. If there's anything else you want to know, please feel free to ask me. Let's see. Now, if you will, how about a little tiny information on how to operate the controls? With the control stick with Z to spin around and jump. That's my friend, it's a spin dash. Also, when you talk to somebody, you can press Z to go back and read the previous message again. Oh, okay. Hmm, let's see. Ah, uh, if you press up while out and about, the amount of FP, HP, and star points can always be shown. And then what else? You move the control stick slightly, Mario walks slowly and quietly. Sometimes it's just good to walk slowly rather than always running you, don't you know? Alright. If you go east for the palace, the, the place where Princess Peach's castle used to be, you'll find a place called Shooting Star Summit. At the foot of the summit live Merluvli and her brother Merlo. The older sister Merluvli can see things you're looking for by fortune telling. The hobby of the younger brother Merlo is collecting star pieces. If you take your star pieces, he'll swap them for badges. Important the fact these two are the granddaughter and grandson of Merlon, who tells fortunes in Totem. If there's anything else you let you know, okay. There's a message board on the side of Merlin's house that posts news. It would appear that many people enjoy scribbling on the back of the message board. Indeed, various things are always written on it. You may want to take a quick look occasionally. Sometimes you'll read interesting news. If there's anything else you wish to know, please feel free to ask me. I used to know a lot more, but I suppose I've forgotten some. I'll try my best to recall more, so come see me in a little while. Alright. Thanks for the info. Let's go visit our brother. This is the pipe that came out of in the beginning. I wonder what my brother's Mario is up to right now. Oh, speak of the devil. Well, Mario, it's good to see you. And you're alright. After all the cancel craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> oh, and who are you? I I'm good Mario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great is just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about a fair. See, someone has to look after this house so I can't leave. Oh, yeah. Take good care, Mario, okay? Take care of Mario, okay? He's Luigi. I don't have to say anything about him, do I? He's your brother. Good luck, Mario. You just have to save the princess. I don't think there's anything here quite yet. But Luigi, uh... It's kind of hilarious as the series goes on. 
Not so much in this one, but he gets a little more ridiculous as the, the games progress. <laughs> We can check the spore to see all the like the totals. I'm pretty sure we'll be filling this out at some point. And there's a bed. A peak strength. Nope. Here's a box where I let us and dress to Mario go. It's empty right now. It's a weird floor here. It's your house. Cool, nice landscaping. I like my house, but yours is even nicer. Did you do the decorating yourself? <laughs> Alright, back to Toto. This Toto's always very excited about whatever news he has. He's a little crazy. Even so, it's a good idea to listen to him. He may even be a little excitable, but he always has news. Oh no! Doom! Danger! Princess Peach's castle's flown away up into the sky! No castle horrors! Only a horror remains! Our beloved castle! Where is it? Spread the word! Outrage! Alright, he's just out of his mind. <laughs> This family man ordinarily works at Peach's castle. He was on his day off when the castle disappeared. Talk about your basic lucky coincidence. Wow. He's a very reliable worker at the castle, but he never does chores around the house. Uh, relatable. <laughs> the earthquake no, the earthquake was when the castle flew away was terrifying. Everything was shaking, the ground, the houses, I fell right over. It was so horrifying that I just like to forget it ever happened. She's the homemaker here. She's ordinarily very relaxed and easygoing. Since her lazy husband is home, she's working harder than ever right now. The housing work, housework piles up every day, but somehow she manages it all with no help. Where does she get the energy? Oh, busy, busy. The room doesn't get tidy when my darling's at home. He's one of the Toad Kids. He likes his father so much that he always tries to sneak into the castle. He's about the same age as I am. We sometimes play together when we come to Toad Town. I guess he's a pretty good friend. He's a pretty good friend of mine. Does he have a name? <laughs> my dad works in the castle, and he's not at home usually. And now the castle's gone, so he's at home. When I said I'm glad because Dad's home, I got scolded. What's up with that? <laughs> he's a toad kid who wants to be really powerful. He thinks that having power solves everything. His way of thinking is a little bit different from mine. He's a good enough guy, though, when we play together. Princess Peach is kidnapped, so I'm going to save her. My mom told me I had to be a good boy and stay home. How come? This still claims that he and his girl are in love. But just the other day, he told me he liked a different girl. What a cat. Those toes are in love. They're so in love, they don't even notice what's going on. Unless you like seeing public displays of affection, I wouldn't talk to them. They're shameless. The castle was taken away and Princess Peach was kidnapped. These are dark days. Everyone in town is suffering, and yet my heart cares for nothing but you, my sweet. Does that make me wicked? My heart is the same, my love. And it cares for, no for you, not other. We are both wicked toads. Oh, for God's sakes, get a room, you two. Is behind her? Nope. Into the item shop. That toad runs the shop. He buys, sells, and checks items. If you don't manage what you're carrying well, you may not be able to hold everything. Check items when you can. I got a string grocery. I gotta help you today. Let's check an item. We check 32 more items. Let's check that super shrimp. We're not gonna need that just yet. Okay, we'll take good care of it. Anything else? Yes, let's also check that goon nut. Okay, we'll take good care of it. Alright. I think you can only carry 10 items, so. Hey, Mario, did you know you can only carry up to 10 items? <laughs> when you can't carry any more items, it's a good idea to go to a shop like this and ask them to hold items for you. You can even claim the items at any of the shop. Pretty convenient, huh? The so it always stands in front of the shop. He knows a lot about items. He never moves, so as far as I can tell. Maybe he's just trying to get a tan? This Dodo's tried his skills at the dojo. That takes guts. Someday I'm going to try it all by myself. Oh, ha ha ha! You don't have it? <laughs> the degree, Mario! The degree shows how strong you are! <laughs> I have it! I fought at the dojo over there and got it from the master! I am one bad toad! He doesn't seem to have any particular reason to be at the dojo. He's not fighting. He just loiters around, checking out the fighters. Maybe he just likes what's watching tough guys? Maybe he'll cheer for us when we challenge the master. Why have you come back to your house yet? Luigi was wondering how you're doing. You can go home to that typing by the main gate over there. You can enter the pipe by standing in the kitchen, and putting down the control stick. Say, why don't you give me a tour of your house someday? No, 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 no. 
That's Chan. He's one of the trainees who seems to always be in the dojo. He worships the master. I mean, he's all well and good for Chan. It's all well and good for Chan to admire the master, but I prefer Mario. Above us, on the top floor, there's a dojo. We are here, always, training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here, in which case the dojo's closed. I let her just arrive, saying the master will return soon. We will train again soon. Oh no. There you go. He's one of the trainees who always at the dojo. His name is Lee. He likes an old he's like an older brother to Chan. Lee respects the master above all else and hangs on every word he says. Our master is wondering the world will appear if I is mine and train his body. Our master was a strong man, and he's going to come back a very, very strong man. We will wait here, right here, until our master returns. Waiting is part of our training. What are you supposed to be? Like a ghost? He's the oldest of these three Toad Sisters. Apparently, they call themselves the beautiful, the three beautiful sisters. I personally don't think they're that attractive, but I guess for Toads, they are. Goombas and Toads think about beauty in different ways, I guess. What do you think, Mario? She's the second eldest of these three Toad Sisters. Apparently, they call themselves the three beautiful sisters. She obviously works pretty hard with makeup to look so gorgeous. I guess, kind of cute. What do you think, Mario? She's the youngest of these three Toad Sisters. She says she's cute. I definitely think she's the cutest of the three. Peach's castle flew away! How could such a thing have happened? What? What will become of Princess Peach and the others who are in the castle? I'm scared, I'm scared! I fell to tea, I'm so scared! This is the essential area of Toad Town, a plaza in front of the Princess Peach's castle. Pleasant path begins to the east of here. This used to be a bustling area before Bowser's attack. Guess that the castle were always in and out. And Doris came from all over to see the castle. Wizard Merlon also lives around here. If you get stuck, his fortune telling might just help you out. There's also a toad house here where you can take a short rest and a post office where you can pick up mail for your party members. Also over by the flower garden, there's a guy named Ralph who's opening his own specialty shop. Star piece. He's a toad who often thinks about going south. Maybe his girlfriend's there? Or maybe he just has a lot of friends that are from that area. He's pretty chatty. The theft of our castle caused great destruction here. The worst of it happened at the center of town. See the rain wood. As a result, we can't get to the southern part of the town. The train station, the port, many important things like south. Not being able to get there is a great inconvenience to me and everyone. Toe Town News Flash. Princess Peach kidnapped. Castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She is inside and is presumed kidnapped. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown, and where the castle once stood, where is now a gaping hole in the ground. According to the witnesses, the castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get new information, we'll post follow-up reports on this board. Can they not see it? Toe Town Underground News. I'm scrubbing on the back of his notice board. How naughty. I heard Merlon was the- Oh, Mario was defeated by Bowser. How ominous. A gossip-loving Toad. I don't know why Merlon came to my head. He's probably just staring at his house. This guy often knows rumors. He could... He's kind of new, Mario. You won't let him down, will you? Hey, Mario, where is your needed on Shitty Star Summit? You never been? Just go through that blue gate there and bear right at the Peach's Castle. Oops, I forgot. Peach's Castle is gone. <laughs> This friendly toad loves to run his mouth. He's a bit of a gossip. The building with a spinning roof is Merlin's house. He's weird. He also happens to be as stubborn as a mule. He rarely comes out. As weird as he is, though, his talent is no joke. He can read the stars. He even predicted that you would come as safe and sound. This toad, I'll tell you a secret. He's a huge fan of the princess. He told me once that he has a big collection of her photos. What a lovesick fool. You see that blue pole in front of the blue post office? That's a road sign. You can find out what's... Uh, find out what, uh, find out what's where in Toad Town by checking out the signs. What I'm telling you this for, I'm sure you already know it's smart to read all the signs you see. Blink. Nothing in there. Merlin is out. Okay. This guy knows tons of gossip. His favorite subject is the brother and sister who live on Shooting Star Summit. Sometimes it's tough dragging information out of him, but then again, sometimes it's worth it if you're curious. Up at Star Summit, there are these two siblings named Merluvli and Mermelo. Merluvli tells fortunes. She's really good at finding badges or star pieces. If we take star pieces to Merlo, he'll trade them for badges. These two could help, you know? You ought to come meet him. Maybe I shall. But first, let's check out the post office. His name is Perry Carey. He's a paratrooper who works for the post office. He's well known for being the slowest mailman around. Slow mailman? That nah, can't be good. Greetings, the name's Perry Carry. I deliver letters. Okay. Yes, hello, this is the post office. You can read my any letters that arrive for you and your other party members. Please drop by now and then to check to see if you've received any mail. Nope. 
Oh, you seem to have some mail. Which one would you like to read? Oh, good Mario. Red and blue Goombas, okay. Here you go. Good Mario. You were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some kind of punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong. So when you come back, do you think you maybe could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be waiting. Red and blue Goomba bros. We'll keep the letters for you. Come on by and tell you want to read some letters. This is Paratrooper. This Paratrooper seems extremely serious and stubborn and hard-headed. If you have a letter coming, he'll give it to you. I wonder if he has one for me. He sure did. <laughs> How am I looking? I don't know. Oh. Oh. That's the wrong button. I'm good. I'm full health, so. These guys. He's a funny color for a toad. Never seen him before. He reminds me of someone, though, but who? You know, I don't think I'd want to know this guy. He looks like bad news. He looks a little off. He's trying to be cool, but he's failing big time. It's dangerous to go out there. I wouldn't go. Yeah, you shouldn't go. Nope, I'll go. Sorry, but no. Okay. It seems like this toad is always in love with someone. Right now, he likes mint tea. I think he's in good spirits. As long as he can be near her, he'll be happy. Look at Minty, always in the flowers. She's as pretty as a rose. Just watching it from a distance makes me happy. Oh. Oh, supposed to be her. She takes care of her flowers. Her name is Minty. Nobody can ask her, match her skill at growing flowers. She must have a green thumb. Flowers feel Minty's love and show it in their blooms. Water and dirt, sunshine and powder, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name is Minty. Please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I've heard there are a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, bulbs have the only known seeds. This is what a bulb looks like. If you find a bulb, could you get the seeds for me? I'll plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovingly. Oh, this must be Ralph. This guy's pretty funky. His name's Ralph. He sells badges. He travels all over the world buying and selling things. I'm a little jealous. Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Ralph's the name. I'm starting me up a little business in Toad Town. I'm setting up. Still setting up, though. I want to see you back in here when we open, alright? This is Ruff. He's Ralph's kid. Looks just like Ralph, right? He's supposed to be helping, but it looks like he's just a pain. Hmm, well, it's Ralph's problem. Hey, mister. You're a customer, aren't you? You guys are preparing to open the shop soon, so I guess I gotta wait a little while. This is Toad is diligent and very hardworking. He has a great worth ethic. ethic. I heard he was a bit on a crush of Merluby, who lives on Shooting Star Summit. These building materials used to be stacked by the road, but they all came down when the earthquake hit. Unfortunately, it's impossible to go to the south side of town with all the scattered wood. Don't worry, we're stacking it as quickly as possible. I know it's inconvenient, but please bear with us while we get everything in order. Okay. Obvious railroading is obvious. <laughs> Alright, let's save real quick. I guess we'll head north. Peach's Castle used to be here. Uh, there's not even a trace of it now. How awful. He's a toad. He never fails to go for a walk, even if it's nasty out. He also loves cleaning for some reason. He cleans like crazy. I can't believe that Princess Peach's Castle was here just a while ago. Wow. I was in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. Even all the guests, too? This place feels strange and mysterious, doesn't it? If you go east from here, we'll eventually get to Shooting Star Summit. Shooting Star Summit? Alright. Like something? Not by Merlubli's place. This is the house of an amazing, gorgeous woman, the fortune teller Merlovely. Merlo, who collects star places, also lives here. This house pulses with psychic power. Can you feel it? It feels weird. It feels like I'm floating on some sort of spiritual cushion. It must be her. She's a gorgeous lady named Merlovely. I can't believe I'm in the same room with her. She foresees events and uses her magic powers to find what you're looking for. She's very accurate. 
think I'm in love. She's incredible. Pinch me, will you, Mario? Calm down. <laughs> oh, my, my. Hello there, Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If she wants your fortune read, talk to me over the counter. Ah, my, my. I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is Merlively. I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can help you find what you seek. My twinkle star here will show you me all that's hidden. My, my. Tell me, or shall I read your fortune? Sure. Okay. My, my. Are you sure? If you ever seek something, please call me upon me again. It's empty. Okay. He's Merlo. He's about the same age as I am. I want to play with him when we get finished our adventure. I guess he trades star pieces for badges. Merlovely, who's downstairs, is his sister. He's so lucky. I'm the famous Merlo of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap some of them. Cool badges for them. How about it? Let's swap. Which badges do you want to swap for? Alright, so looking at this list, I remember there's a few of these that are actually quite like mandatory. Um, Zap Tap is really damn good. Uh, it's really good to have that one early. And uh, Pretty Lucky is also quite nice. And Happy Heart and Happy Flower are great too. But for now, we don't have enough, so we're just going to get Payoff, which uh, increases the amount of coins you get when you take damage during fights, which of course will take damage. So it's good to have a little bit of extra for that. I'm going to exchange Payoff for one star piece. I'm going to BP is two. Yes. All right. All right then, mister. Why don't we swap some more? No. You don't want to? Oh, well, at least I was able to add to my radical star piece collection. Please come back and swap some more with me sometime. All right, let's go slap that payoff badge on because we have at least two BP left, so... Here we go. All right, let's get out of this place and get to the shooting star summit. This is Shooting Star Summit. Stars are really, up uh, shooting. People say that this place like no other reaches up and embraces the sky. I right, know there's a star piece here. Go. He's an old star spirit. His name is Eldstar. He reminds me of my grandpa. He's a revered person who lives in Star Haven, way up beyond the sky. A, a revered star, I mean. I wonder why he's here. He should be in Star Haven. And why does he have. Why does he look so dim? I can see right through him. Come on, I've been, we've been waiting for you. We're the seven star spirits. Our job is to grant wishes and good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high up, up beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen, listen carefully. The other day, Alza and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, a knight to trance Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, Stars ignores his selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend, when he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came by and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things would happen. It is the responsibility of the Seven Star Spurs to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to the rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly... Right now, you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all more powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He's terrible to behold. Once the Seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even in his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're beside you, it's only an illusion. 
We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance. But even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario. First of all, you must rescue us. In order to take, in order to take the Star Red back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You're our last hope, and we will... Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Well, why don't we find out in a meanwhile cutscene? <laughs> hmm. Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only someone could help me. <laughs> my dear Princess Peach, are you doing this fun day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. No, Princess Peach, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it looks like down your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant wishes requests that I'd like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You'll watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause trouble. <laughs> well then. <laughs> oh, please. If only someone could help me. Who the fuck be rabbit tapping on my door? Huh? Oh, God. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, Princess Peach! Pleased to meet you! My name is Twink. But, but you're, you're Star Kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant you your wish! It's our Brianna Grant wishes, you know? Oh, you came, back, you came because I wished that somebody could help me? Yes, of course! Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that Star Ride back from Bowser, okay? Think you could do it? Uh, uh, I'm sorry! That's a little too much for a Nawa star like me! Maybe one of the Horonable Star Spirits from Star Haven could do grant a wish like that! Uh, I'm so sorry! Uh, please ask for something easy! Something a small star could do! Then can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry! I, I cannot grant a wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to this guy a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more slated star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. <gasps> oh, Twink. Do you think you could find Mario? I want you to give this to him. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it for you, Princess Peach. I'll find the Mushroom Kingdom as quick as I can. Oh wait, Twink! Wait one, wait one sec, can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine and you shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course! I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach! Definitely! Now don't despair! I'll be back soon, so stay until... Stay safe until I return, okay? Ugh! Mario, where are you? Ooh. Ouch! Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry! I'm in a huge hurry! Oh, it's... You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you! Yay! How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something for you. Uh, yes. Here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. You got lucky star. Star-shaped pendant. Let's use action command. 
That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? Yes. Okay, let me explain. Let me see. Hang on, you, behind Mario, would you mind helping me demonstrate something? Me? The name's Kumbario. Of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Kumbario, let's begin. First, Mario! Choose the jump command and decide which enemy you want to attack. Once you decide on the enemy, the explanation of the active command will appear. Right now, just before stomping the enemy, press A at exactly this moment. When you see nice appear, you can successfully use the action command. When you do, you'll increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, now it's time, Goombario. You try to attack Mario. Okay, here comes Mario. Right now, press A just before the attack strikes you. Yes, you successfully used the action command. This will reduce the amount of damage you receive. Often you'll have to use the different techniques to make use of the action command. It depends on the attack. Try attacking by hammer. Hmm. Once you choose an enemy to attack, move the control stick to the left. Okay, move the control stick. A star flashes as soon as your power reaches maximum. That's when you let go. All right, you successfully used the action command. Well, Mario, you understand the ins and outs of the action command. Let's practice a bit to make sure you mastered how to use it properly. No. You don't need to practice anymore? Oh, that's our Mario. You're a quick learner. Well, I guess that's about all I can teach you. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific, you'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are. What? It can't be! Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Kimmy Koopa, she'll tell me with praise, she'll give me a raise. Here I come. All right. This is a magic Koopa. Magic Koopas use magical rods. Max HP eight, attack power three. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. You better take these guys seriously. I'll fuck him up. Boom. Ugh. Shit. And he's done. <laughs> Well done, Mario! You're as strong as they say! I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser! I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side! I'm not strong enough to really help her! At least I can help her or tell her you're okay! Oh well, Mario! See you later! Bye bye! Yeah, bye. Oh dear! I almost forgot to tell you! The message from Princess Peach! I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help both of you. But please be brave. You must say Princess Peach. There he goes. Back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Alright, anyway. <laughs> is this is the episode over yet. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Oh, Mario! Marlon was looking for you. He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Marlon to call somebody over at his house. He's been eccentric. He always has visitors. It's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Alright. Marlon is out. What do you, why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you he's out. Why do you keep on touching me? What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe? No, yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, here you are now. Come in. Where to begin? 
My name is Merlon, I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? I was, it was in the old days, one of my ancestors was up in the shooting star summit, and as usual. But one day it happened, suddenly a great appeared, and I standing face to face. Then the far away, the pious was, raised me up and was amazing. I was still so young then, I believed in what our hearts were, and then so... <laughs> exposition, 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 and that is all that matters. Huh? Hey, Mario, were you listening to me? Oh, alright. <laughs> So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal is must be save Princess Peach as quickly as humanly possible, but according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Bros' fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. He's a stubborn and mysterious old man. His name is Merlon. He uses magical powers to look into the future. I've listened to his stories before, and they're really long. I try to pay attention, but sometimes I fall asleep. Still, his fortune telling is supposedly right on. I don't know him personally, but my Goompa told me. Make haste to the east. You must go to the Koopa Bros Fortress. Go east on the road in front of the Toad House. Alright, I'll do it, but there's some like weird toads there, and they're like, they're very pushy. I, I can't bring myself to hurt them. You don't want to go out there, it's way too dangerous. Going to Koopa Bros Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't ask old man Merlon for help. That'd be really bad news for us, I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. <laughs> well, that one hurt my voice. <laughs> there we go. There's the blood. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Come again. Strange toads blocking the east side of town. That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me there. I'll see what's going on. I told you you can't pass. Take off. Hmm, you are toads, are you? Oh, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Ah! Just as I thought, you're the Koopa Bros. Oh, how'd you guess it was us? You were perfectly disguised. Chalks, black, yellow, green. We retreat, but now. Mario, those apostles were none other than the Koopa Bros. You must pursue them in their hideout, the Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue shelled Koopa. It's a strange portrait in the Koopa Village. You might find something that will clear your time. I must return home now. Okay. Let's go a little bit further. That was my health. I can use a little bit now. Chapter 1, Storming Koopa Bros' Fortress. That's stupid. Why is there like a weird shadow in front of me? You see that? What the hell? What's going on here? Hmm. Something didn't work correctly here. <laughs> I think. <laughs> to the west of here is Toad Town. The east is Koopa Village. If we go even farther east, we'll eventually reach Koopa Bros' Fortress. Alright. Oh! Oh! Uh. This is Koopa Koo Trooper. Uh, Koopa, <laughs> Koopa the Trooper. Everyone knows Koopa Troopers. They're Bowser's followers. Max HP 4, attack power 1. Their shells are hard. If you can flip them over, their defense power will fall to 0 and it become much easier for you to defeat them. You can flip them with a power lock or a jump attack. I'm a murder this fool! There you go.
I'm having too much fun playing this. I don't know. I might, I might go silent for a bit just because I'm just enjoying. <laughs> it is the attack. And I have a blow that makes an enemy dizzy and unable to move. I can't remember if this badge actually does damage or not, though. I uh, could try it out, though. Bright Jar makes a scary spirit appear and chase some enemies away. It's always pleasant around here, that's why we call this place Pleasant Path. It's nice and warm today, too. Incidentally, lots of Koopas live around here. Good luck. Clips all enemies. Oh, I should use a spin, why didn't I do that? Makes him dizzy per turn. Interesting. Not too useful though, really. Ugh! Back! Yeah, I'd rather just have damage than a, a one round of dizzy. So, okay. It might be useful later, though. That a certain ally will help me reach that. <laughs> Sleepy sheep. Ah, I missed. This didn't hit me though. I never really use uh, items as much as I should in these games. Adorable.
There you go. All right, let's before I continue and pass this point, we believe three FP. Let's go ahead and stop this episode here. We'll pick it back up. I'm gonna get something to eat real quick because I'm hungry. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.